All right, so this is 1.2.2 3D solid modeling practice, and there are four models. You can actually see most of them up above, uh, but I'm going to make a video, so I made a folder for this. Now, up here you have create, and you got document folder. I really can't overstate how important it is to use folders to organize your work. Otherwise, it's going to be a mess. Um, so I'm going to make four documents in here. Uh, I'm just going to call them piece one. I would typically put a name in there and a date, but I'm not going to bother because I'm just making a video. I'm going to delete these in a little bit. It really helps if you, you name things. So we've talked about front views and which view is the front view. It's the one with the best profile, the one where you can get the best look at this. So I'm almost always going to start with the front front view. And I click on it. Now I know I have a sketch because this window opened up. And by the way, I, this is very quick. You really want to watch this and hit the pause button a lot. Uh, we always want to work off the origin. It makes life a lot easier. And this is what I call the alien piece. It's a big block. So I, I make a block. And I know that the block on the outset is 4 by 2.5. So I'm doing what we call subtractive modeling. I'm done with that so far, and then I'm going to extrude it. And I don't care if it extrudes forward or back. It doesn't really matter. If I did, I could always grab that arrow and drag it the other way, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I want is it to go 2.5 inches. And I'm reading off the uh, diagram as we go here. Now, I don't like these planes, so I go up here and I get rid of the views because they're kind of in the way. And then I'm going to grab this by clicking on the middle mouse button and zooming in by rolling the middle mouse button. And I'm going to put sketches on this front that I'm going to carve out. So I'll press front so I get that clean view. And I want to square up here. And I want it to be actually a rectangle, I should say even though it is one by one, one enter, one enter. And I want to square up here. I wonder if it'll let me snap, no it won't. So one enter, one enter, and then one down here. Now this one's a little trickier. Just throw it up there. It is three wide and 0.5 high, but it's not in the right place. So at least I don't know if it's in the right place or not. So I have to go up here and hit this dimension button right here, dimension. And let's say from here, the yellow line to this blue line should be 0.5. So now it's dimensioned properly. A lot of people have been getting red and the, the whole sketch locks up. That means you've over constrained it. So if I were to put a dimension over here, I don't need one here. This defines it. It will probably say, whoa, what are you doing, buddy? You just over constrained things. So I go down here and I put it and I enter and it's grayed out and it's not happy with me. Um, see, it's kind of got a funky orange color. Well, I guess they both do. Um, but I've, I've set the size of the block elsewhere. If I do it again, it's just going to be over constraining it. Again, I like to hit the corner so I can see what's going on. And then I'm extruding, but I am extruding a remove and I want it to go through all. So I say you and you and you cut them away. I personally think it's a little bit easier, but whatever. Notice I haven't saved it all. It automatically saves it. That is a wonderful feature for my Autodesk Inventor people. So now I've clicked on this side. I didn't click on the plane. I clicked on the side face where I want to put this. I click on the right just because it's easier to look at then. And like before, I'm just going to slap a rectangle in here. And I know that it is 1.5 and point, tough read, 2.5. And then I've got to dimension it. It should be... 0.5 over, which makes sense. It looks pretty centered. And then 0.75 down. All right, cool. Done. And again, I like to look at it. So extrude. And I'm coming out. 0.75. That's it. We're done. Now, what I want you to do for this is to take a picture of this. So we snip that, go into Google Doc and paste it, take a picture of the front view, snip that, 
go into Google Doc and paste it. Take a picture of the right view, snip that, and the top view. Because that's going to lead us into where we're going very soon with multi-view drawings. Right? But uh, we'll hit the corner here and hopefully, yeah, we got it. Now I need a new, there's piece one. I need a new one, we'll call it piece two. And this one is technically supposed to be in centimeters, even though it's not remotely clear on the drawing. Centimeters are actually pretty easy and on shape to get. Workspace units. Let's go with centimeters. Huh. Well, there it is. I thought it was only giving me millimeters. Cool. All right, so here we go again. Start a sketch on the front. Let's look at the front. It's a big rectangular looking device. I'm going to do it a little different this time. The whole thing is 60 and 40. And it's too big, so I zoom out so I can see the whole thing. And this time, instead of just cutting it out, I'm going to actually kind of cut it out directly here. So it looks something like that. And it is very hard to say. They're not giving me what I want. You know what? I'll just let my dimension doing it. I'll call it. No, I can't call it anything. Um, I'll go over to the other one. And I can't do that either. So I'll just figure it out from here. Um, they gave me dimensions and I would have had to do math, which I could have, but just thought it'd be more fun to do it this way. They say, hey, this is 10. And they say this is 25. And then they say, this is 15 down. And we got this little trim button up here. We can get rid of pieces we don't want. Now notice I got rid of it and you're like, but it's still there. That's because I drew one when I drew the outer rectangle and one when I drew the inner. If I click it again, it's gone. And that's what I want. This nice gray area it says, I have closed up the loop. I can't extrude unless it's closed, circle closed system. All right, I don't like all these here, so it's time to get rid of them. Missed the top one. And extrude. And we're extruding 30 centimeters. Done. There's a hole in this face over here on the right, so let's start a sketch. Click on the right. View it to the right so it's easier to see. And the hole is over here. It is 15 wide. It is 10 high. Uh, it is 5 up. And it is 10 over, so I don't know what's going on here. This is going to be a little tricky. Oh, I snapped it to it. Might have a problem here. Let's try and go from the other side. Now I have to do a little math. The uh, whole thing is 30 minus 18, so that should be 12. And that actually worked. I got lucky. So that's it. Done. Now I got to cut this hole through everything, so it is a remove. It's got a distance here I don't want it. I want through all. Chop that, comes out the other side, check. Now I'm going to hold the third button down so I can orbit it. You can see that, see daylight on the other side, so it went all the way through. Again, I would do the four views. You have to do the four views and put it in. Now let's go make number three. This one looks like it's in inches. I'm going to do the side profile. Start a sketch there, look at it there. Uh, looks like the right side is going to be the front side. So do this. It's 3.5 long. It's 2.5 high. I need to chop out most of it. So that'll be 2.5. And 1.5. And we're going to trim away the extra pieces. It'll be twice because there's two pieces there. 
gone. That's about what I'm looking for, I believe. Not about, that is what I'm looking for. And we'll extrude. And it says to go 2.5. Check it, turn off my faces. And I need to cut out two pieces. I need to cut out a piece here. I'm not happy with this. Yeah, that's not what I thought I was getting. So let's try to get on top. A uh, piece from here to about there. It is 1.5 is 0.5 it is dimensionally centered one up and that should do it finish sketch take a look at it from the corner i'm gonna go with the other corner just because i think that's oh no i don't want that that's what I want. And then extrude a remove. Blind all. Done. And then I have to do the same thing up here. Except I want to sketch first. Notice what happens when I start going fast. Immediately made a mistake. Caught it, but I still made a mistake. What about there? It is 1.5 long. It's 0.5 high. Dimension it to get it centered. 0.5. Done. I'm going to chop it from here, even though I like seeing things in 3D world. Move through all. Check. Let's see how I did. That's about what I want. Nice. So I would say this side over here is the front view, top, right side. Maybe the other side, maybe that's the front view, that's the top, and then that's the right side, whichever. Notice that I didn't build it that way, so it no longer says front, although I think you can reset those if you want. One to go. Create piece four. It's actually a cam that you're going to use something similar to it in a project in this class in the future. So we have a circle down here. Now, the diagram, the drawing is a radius. We click and it asks for a diameter. So we have to go 1.25 times two. Well, we can just say 1.25 times two. Did it for me. Then it asks for a piece up here. I like to put in a line. You can actually say it's construction line, I believe. Uh, I'm not honestly sure. Click on it, right click on it construction so now it's not really part of the diagram it's just something I can reference construction lines are handy uh, unfortunately now everything thinks it's a construction line so I have to go back and fix that and we right click on it and say clear selection no Hmm. Well, that's a bit annoying. I've never done that before. Oh, because I'm still in circle. That was dumb. So now you turn construction off. It said construction, but that's actually turning it off. Now we get to have a little fun. We are going to learn a little bit about constraints. So we just kind of slap our lines in here, and we certainly can make them better. These lines are tangent. What does tangent mean? It means it just comes by, kisses it, and goes right past. So we use these things called constraints here. And you've seen them all along. You just didn't know what they were. But a tangent constraint will say, pick that, pick that, make it tangent. Pick that, pick that, make it tangent. Now, why is it moving the line and not the circle? Because the circle has been dimensioned in with this construction line here. It's already constrained. It's not going anywhere. So I can pick circle and then line. It still moves the line because the circle was locked onto the origin. Trim away the extra pieces. Now we can actually do all this in two moves, but I'm going to do it in one. We're supposed to have a square down here. 
square is 0.125. So it's a tiny little square. And from the origin to this point is supposed to be 0.125 slash 2. And from here to here is supposed to be 0.125 slash 2. So now it's centered on there nicely. I finish. I zoom out. I like to look at it from the side. I'm going to turn off all these because they're in the way. Zoom in a little bit so I can see what's going on. And I am going to extrude. Now, I want to make sure it doesn't grab that square down there. It didn't. Good. I didn't try and extrude the square. This thing's pretty thin, 0.125. That is that. It's called a cam, a pear-shaped cam, to be honest. Although, actually, I think this is more of a handle for us. We'll get to that another time. So I like to have it drawn properly with the front where it belongs. There we go. And that's it. I lost my voice. I did such a long video. I went really quickly on purpose. Pause, rewind, pause, rewind. You should be able to do this. Good luck.